Hey everyone, Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Civ 3 World War 2. Uh, okay, I've got to say a few things here right at the start. First, I want to apologize for the last few videos at least. You know, when I edit these videos and set them up, the sound all sounds okay, but apparently there's... I don't know what. I, I don't know if I'm just a novice or what's going on, but something's getting lost in translation because I have only just realized that my actual YouTube videos have almost no game sounding them at all. Uh, let me actually see here. So I'm just going to bring all that up. Um, I want there to be something ambient at least. And I'll figure it out later. Uh, the thing I'm always worried about is these stupid planes. Which, while I love their noise, it's way too loud. Like, the volume just needs to be brought down. But I can't individually do that, at least not without some technical skills I don't really have. So, yeah. There's also that weird skipping that happens in the music, but whatever. Anyway, so there is that thing. I want to apologize for that. I'll, I'm going to try to fix it. No one get your hopes up. I'm pretty bad at that sort of thing, but I'll try. Um, other thing, I am currently fighting with an annoying sickness in my sinuses and nostrils and stuff, so uh, I might sound a little weird sometimes. I, I ask for patience with that. Okay, well, we're fighting Turkey, so I guess it's time to keep moving people in. Oh, yeah. I think I just call these things battleships, right? What did my... where's my fleet? Actually, has my fleet arrived yet? Yeah, they'll just refer to them as battleships, that's good. Okay, we're definitely going to have to load some people, a lot of them, into Ankara. Because the Allies are not going to stop, ever. Okay, so these are both on hills. This is not a lot of stuff to attack with. I'm going to use these. Yeah, that's some noise right there. I think it's a little louder for me than it is for you guys, but if that's all that it is, if it's only louder for me, it's still annoying. But I'll handle it. Okay, I know they had sent most of their guys out, right? They, they like, launched a bunch of them. So I think I can work with that. I'm having to just go down the line manually because the game has made this super convenient for me. Yes, yes, hit the civilians. That's what I want. Well, at least they're a lower population now. Ah, yes, the special fortress. Forgot about you. Okay, let's uh, launch our attack now. Yep. Culture didn't expand over that spot. I didn't assume it would, but one can hope. We're just going to attack this one directly, at least at first. I'm trying to conserve as much as I can, and now that we own one, I can be somewhat more reckless. can't have that many guys, right? They launched them all. Man, apparently they can have quite a few. Okay, well, I still have a couple 87Bs, right? Oh, 
Oh my goodness, can they stop going over there? It's driving me up a wall. No, that's it. Really? The first one couldn't have hit that? Oh, they have a flak in there? Dang it, come on, I don't have the resources for this. I just want to get this taken care of. Thank you, at least someone hits their target. I'm not even going to get to use these things on the allies at all. Okay. Well, this probably isn't a great idea, but we're going to try it anyway. You're not even going to hurt him. Thanks for that. can't even attack that with one of my wounded ones. Because even one hit point, I might get hurt and die. Stinking flack. Alright. Well, it's ours now. Good, they deserved it. Let's just... Let's move on. Everyone flood this thing. Turkey's out. Thank goodness. Okay. So, Adana's now the primary battleground here. I want to get a road here and here. And then I want to get a road here. As soon as I am able. I don't want to put a road anywhere else up here. If I put one just here, that's where Russia will put most of their pressure once we start fighting. Okay. Uh, wake you, and now. These 87Bs. So we want to take Damascus, right? Uh, actually, I guess I should check now. Because this is going to determine everything. Soviet Russia. Still just Soviet tanks and motorized rifles. Okay. So yes, we're focusing on this. All of you guys move. Sure, you do the same. I should have plenty of fighters, right? Like more than enough to distribute? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. I loaded quite a few of them in here, didn't I? Doesn't look like they got anything defending. Oh! That's a valentine! <laughs> don't like to see that. Now I know, don't leave anything exposed out there. I should probably move some 87Bs in there. Did I already move all of those? Dang it, I think I did. Ah, that was stupid of me. Well, they still couldn't hit this, which I would want to do first. But if I can get someone here, I can hit it. Okay. Well, let's hit this one. We might be able to drive off the French guy alone. Probably not, because they have actual defensive capability, unlike a lot of the rest of this garbage we fight. Okay, they're going to have to move closer, too.
Boy, I can't wait to have Ponta Delgada. It'll be like everything annoying in my entire life just fixes itself all at once. <coughs> Yeah, I guess I'll start funneling some of our new tanks up here. At least until we have a, a small army of them. We have a small army now. We got a moderate army of them up in the north. Awesome. So that's done now. Could put them over there. I don't know, we just need convenience roads. Just everywhere. As far as the eye can see. Yeah, a couple more tanks. Our army up there will be good. They have all of our old tanks, so probably I'd say this turns production up there. That'll probably be pretty solid. And hopefully we'll start getting our new Baltic infantry any day now. Okay, that is as good as it's going to get. Uh, yeah, there's a Greek here. He can keep doing that. We need more people down here. Fairly certain this is the very song that I get copy struck for pretty regularly with my Civ content. So we'll see if they try to give me trouble for it. The, the copy strikes never try to take my content down, nor do they last. The second I can test them, they are, of course, the people who claim them are notified, and they always let it go. The, like, after 30 days of, of nothing, then nothing happens. They don't do anything with it, so... It's a garbage claim to begin with, but it's always wildly inconvenient and extremely frustrating. Usually because they'll wait for a while, and then they'll mass just all at once at one time suddenly be like hey you can't use that all at once it's very frustrating stinking copyright law I get that it's not YouTube's fault they can't really do anything about it but sometimes it feels like it's YouTube's fault okay I guess get started here all right do we have some Turkish workers around here yeah let's get them started on this road because this one's more important than the southern one and I don't know how much longer we'll have this piece for, but I, I want to get these roads set up as soon as possible. Yeah, I guess they'll go... well, I'll put them up here for now. They can all stay there for the time being. Okay, that's got plenty of Type 9s. That has no Type 9s. I want everyone to be able to detect subs, so that no subs can make it through this line either. Only Type 7s. Yeah, like, see, this is why I send most of my Type 9s up north. Just because I don't have many of them up here. Even though they don't get much attention. You know, the odds of actual subs showing up, it's probably not going to happen, but... Better safe than sorry. That should give us a little added protection. So there were no Americans on the way, right? We're all secure there. We're still three or four turns from this one probably for the best, because I'm nowhere near ready to attack Malta. I would love to be at this point in the game, but I am very much not. 
I'm gonna have to take that thing too. It's always inconvenient. I guess it's kind of on the way, because despite their uselessness, I always take Arabia. Always. The whole one time I've been there, I took Arabia. Wow, so I really did move all of them. Okay, well, let's wake up the stuff that doesn't have to be here. Uh, they have a Romanian already, so let's send the Hungarian there. Everything else should be good to go here. Oh, that was injured. Okay. Alright, bunch of security divisions here. I'm going to leave one with these guys, because you never know. But I should be able to pretty much abandon the defenses here. At least for the most part. Still don't want to get bombed. Yeah, that's pretty much good. I shouldn't have any spare tanks sitting around somewhere. Okay, so from what I've left around here... I probably... Man, I forgot just how many Panzers I left up here. I don't have that many here. There's just a couple of them. That's that's a decent number of aides. Well, they're probably the same number here. But these ones are all elites already. And they are supplemented by a ton of infantry. But I have quite a few here and here. This is a pretty serious force. I probably don't even need to reinforce them. Like, the stuff that's here could probably just keep moving. And I, I could just... I'll need to split up my air force once we go back to war with Russia. Did they take Chengdu? They did not. It's still out there. I, did, I couldn't remember where it was. I just remembered it was important. I wanted to double check. I've actually seen America and Russia take these things before. So I always check every now and then, see if they've done it again. Still can't believe they never took any of that. Okay, well I think that's about it for this turn. I'm going to send out the infantry. I don't need them here. So Turkey's out of the way. That's great news. Makes me very, very glad. Now we're... I think they're the last real neutral power. Brazil, like I've said, the South American ones, some of them pull a little weight, actually, down there. Mostly just because of how inconvenient the area is. So a couple tanks, planes, and a decent number of infantry in a bad spot is always going to be a problem. But overall, they're not that bad. Wow. He's running out of escorts. That transport was unaccompanied. But Turkey was the last one that was really actually powerful. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's worse. You guys are so dead. Dang it. France, why'd you have to block the road? This could have been so much better. That's still within range, though. I can kill that. I don't think... No, we can get that other British infantry. I can hit everything but Damascus with my 87Bs. Sweet, and then my troops can move in. Alright, we might have Damascus next turn. Since it's French, I'm going to have to bomb it first. They'll actually fight back. And then that's it for France in the area. The only other option is to get people through uh, Algeria. So, okay, here's the thing about those British ships. If they're King George V's, all I'll have to do is devote some resources to sinking them. That one near Malta, or near, uh, near Crete, it bombed and then it stayed there. So I, that tells me it came up out of Suez. It, it was not built here, which makes sense because they don't have any resources. Unless they've connected with South Africa, and then they might have enough resources to do that. But I don't think they've connected with South Africa. So that came up from Suez, we sink that, we're good. If it's a King George V, a few 88s should knock it out. If it is not, ooh, awesome, this gets us carriers. Yes. Things are looking up. Okay. 
So I think this is this is 109 G's. They're cool. I would love to have Panzer III H's. They're also cool. Those are Valentines. My goodness, Britain is already here. I can go. No, I need to get that stupid thing before I can do anything. Okay, guess I have to get this garbage. This doesn't benefit me at all. It's just a necessary one I have to take. So that's what we're doing now. That's disappointing. But at least it's only eight turns. What was I saying? Right, if it's a King George V, we can get it. If that is a Lion class, which is the big Mamba Jamba of British battleships, that's going to be a problem. That thing will definitely slow us down. If that's what it is. And I don't know that yet. I don't feel good about it. People should be happy, since we just curb stomped another nation. And the Germans seem to like that. That's probably something to do with the fascism. I don't know if you can actually mess around with those parameters. Um, when you're designing your own scenario. Like, if you can make it so certain countries like that more than others. I don't know if that's just the nature of the governments. Or if you can change how those governments work and stuff too. I'm not sure. Civ 3 was made back in the day when games weren't designed to be convenient. So it's sort of esoteric working with it. Not a lot of stuff is straightforward or convenient. Yeah, the Turks should really like me now. Because now they are me. The real nice thing about being Germany in this in comparison to just thinking about, if I ruled Germany in World War II, right, and I, I was presented with all these strategic issues, how would I overcome those? That's what usually this sort of scenario appeals to. Because World War II, when you really take it at, at face value for how it's all the military nature and whatnot, is fascinating to think through the strategy and the, the interpolitics and stuff. But what it really boils down to is, if I were in charge of Germany, I wouldn't have wasted, one, so much time, and two, compromise my morals at basic humanity so much to do the horrible holocaust thing that they were so obsessed with for some I don't I don't reason I guess you'd call it but it's just it's how you know Hitler wasn't serious about actually starting a real new Roman Empire because the Romans never did anything like that that's kind of what he claimed but Really, he was just a madman who liked seeing people die, for no real reason, just because he didn't like them, because he decided not to like them. And being able to put yourself in the position of so much power, because he had a lot of power, and talented individuals who were also extremely competent and worked hard, which is what made the Germans so dangerous back then. Being able to put yourself in the position where you could use that, and then to use it right, instead of wasting it on such a stupid, nonsensical, and destructive, and pure evil choice. Instead, it's just, you know, it's basic war. You actually get entertainment and enjoyment out of a thing that in reality was unbelievably horrifying. I don't know, I'm glad the Holocaust is not a thing that was at all included in any element of this entire scenario. That that... We're just going to act like that is not here at all. Okay, that's a King George V. That, whew, okay, thank goodness. Well, I might just come wail on you then, because I have five more hit points and a 40 attack lead. But I might not. How far away is this? One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Okay, I have a plan. <laughs> Fortify them. And wake them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Everyone go there. Okay. Anissa now. Oh, I have two of these classes. Okay, you guys move forward. Hit it. And retreat. Darn it.
sure. It's got sufficient protection. As long as another one of these doesn't come sprinting out of nowhere, it's not like it'll be left defenseless if a couple of them are stuck on this space. Uh, the... This thing... Okay, it does have seven. I couldn't remember if they had six or seven. Excellent. Both of you. I could build more heavy cruisers, but... It's only like two more turns to build a Deutschland, and the Deutschlands are way better. So I think I'm just not going to do that ever. Okay, the rest of them are, for the moment, just going to chill. And then... The Bismarck is going to do what the Bismarck does. This is its whole reason for being out here, is literally just to pick off King George V's. Thank you. Okay, you're still staying there for now. I'm going to need a lot of tanks down there in... in Africa. Because we just... It's a lot of territory. Africa spreads out because it's, you know, a whole freaking continent. And... And there's also, then you're not just fighting here in Eastern Europe, you spread across all of Asia. Now you have to contend with with Persia and Afghanistan, and then India, and then China, and if this is still here, all of this. And then you start getting down into this stuff, and it's it balloons into a lot of things that become unmanageable pretty fast if you don't have a good influx. My hope is I can convert some of my 88 and 87 production to Panzer production once Britain is fully online. But I don't know how long that's going to take to do. Probably still a decent while. But I'm going to need a lot of units down there so that we can spread out and actually deal with what we have to. This is the other problem with conquering the world is Germany. Is despite how good your cities and your units are, you never have enough of anything. Just hard to keep up with. Okay, none of these have airports, right? No. Okay, everyone prepare. Just get rid of you all together. These tanks are real close, so I'm going to send them down here. The five Soviets get that done pretty fast, actually. Yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to build the road I want you to build yet. Everyone's just going to focus on this, these couple hills there. See what we can do with it. I'm glad this is the one we took without destroying its barracks. Okay, I have one more worker than necessary there. Is it four workers to finish one of these? Yeah. Okay, so I should send this guy here. This one should try to find his way over there. Man, I had a lot of these guys. The other thing I need a lot of down in Africa is workers. Because no one builds roads down there but me. Only place that might need them more is South America. Which is, weirdly, even less roaded.
that these are actually going to wait. Okay, let's double check here. Okay, still not fighting it out with uh, any fighters. There we go. Interesting. They don't have anything else defending that city. Didn't I already tell them to wait? Okay. Using the 87Bs right now. Fine. Go to Nicosia. Oh my goodness. It probably took a while to cultivate that elite. Taking that one away is going to hurt. Hurt them, not me. Is that an elite valentine? No, that is just a veteran. I always forget how much health those guys have. Wow, that was a good roll. A shockingly good one, because those guys are pretty tough. There we go. Man, that was inconvenient. Ah. Oh, I don't like that. Where did that even come from? How are they building those? As South Africa probably has the resources, it just usually can't get them out there. It might have rolled up from South Africa, though. That, that is a very real possibility.
Okay, there we go. And thank goodness Kirkhawk does not have any sort of uh, fighters in it at the moment. Oh, right, this. Totally forgot about that. I don't know if I have enough ADH to still get it. We'll give it a shot, though. Could you imagine how much space it would take to store this many planes in one place? Each one of these is representing it quite a few bombers or fighters. And there's like 90 of them here. I don't know if each one's just a squadron. And I don't know if bombers are, if they have a different, uh, no, oh, it's not really designation, that's not the word I'm looking for. If they have a different, oh man. I know there's a very specific word that means exactly what I'm thinking. I'll figure it out later when I'm not recording and be angry at myself then. Okay, please finish this thing off. Yes! Alright. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Let's start funneling in. We are having to attack across a river, so that's not really ideal. And I don't have a ton of guys to actually do this with. Most of my tanks are still recovering from the Turk War, which lasted about a week in the game. Lasted longer than that in reality, ironically, because it took me forever to actually get to it. Wow. There are more of them in there than I thought there were. I do still have motorized infantry that are all injured. That isn't great. Okay. A motorized infantry can deal with this. I have a couple seven hit pointers, right? Yeah. I'm sending one of them in. Come on. You've lost three hit points to this sucker? He has a one defense. Okay, Damascus is ours. That's it for France and the Middle East. They're out. Give me a temple real fast. I need one more guy to go kill that French infantry. This one. Don't you dare die on me. Okay. He is extremely vulnerable right now. If the British had a tank in here, they could come get him. But I don't think they do. Holy smokes, I had that many 88s left that I had not used? My Air Force is huge! Oh, you guys are done for. How extensive is my force? Like, my entire everything. It's way more than I thought it was. Yeah, I'll take the 88, one of my flak, and some of more of my infantry. Sadly, the Allies and the Russians are not at war anymore. 
I'm not a fan of the Russians expanding their power, but I am a fan of them kicking the allies around and drawing their fire. See, now, if the British build Lancasters in India, they will bomb me over here from here. And my only recourse is fighters, and Lancasters are hard to shoot down. Now, I don't think they actually have any Lancasters yet, so I'm probably pretty safe on that front. But they're still kind of problematic. I'd like to avoid them if possible. And Russia's no longer acting as my living shield, so I'm not avoiding them at all. Okay, moving all of our motorized infantry, yeah, and one of these guys down. All of our healthy motorized infantry I'm going to need. Everything that's even just slightly fast has to be down here. Motorized infantry are really just my cheap stand-in for kind of panzers. Okay, these fighters I think are all good to move. They don't really have to be here anymore. All of these are healed up. Awesome. You guys are going to ship on down right away. Yeah, I forget what I've been saying. I need to ship all my tanks here now. Apparently this is where I'm low. I thought I had more than I did. The rest of those guys are probably good. All I have to do is have enough forces to push down to, like, Suez. Actually, not even that. I might take Jerusalem and halt there. Just have a couple 87Bs to repel the counterattacks and then wait. Whoa. And then wait. Because once we go to war, we're going to have to fight these guys anyway. And so the Russians are going to be on this whole front. So I might have to wait until I have some more reinforcement. But we sunk. Looks like it missed us entirely. We sunk that battleship. We sunk this battleship. Let's not forget about them. Do I have a Type 9? I do. They're two squares away, so we can kill three of them. Meaning the entire escort. Yeah, either something weird is going on with the AI to send a transport out here alone, or he is out of escort ships. Which I, I can check America's numbers, actually, see what they've got. Uh, actually, I'd like to keep that stack where it's at. Okay. Whoa! That's new. Um, these are all type 7s. How far away is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Dang it. Okay, so that's the only one that can hit. If it sails right on through... Okay. I'm moving these guys. Yeah, no, they're definitely going down here. It'll sail on through, hopefully. Stop near Ponta Delgada. As long as they don't stop here. Here, I think, actually. Pretty sure here we're still out of their range. Because I'm pretty sure a destroyer has to be within two spots to, two spaces to spot a sub. So as long as they sail right through here, they should we should be completely fine. You stop moving, whatever you're doing. They'll stop around here probably, and they might bomb us. But we have some Messerschmitts and Flak now, and then we'll take them out. This is why I need to control Ponta Delgada. I can move my air force out here, and then this will be my port for all the subs in the Atlantic which would be way more convenient than all the way back in Portugal. Okay, I think that's about everything. So, let's see here. Still sitting pretty with no super... Not good. Okay. Well, that answers the question. Now we have to fight Russia. We, we cannot wait any longer. They only have three right now. That number is going to exponentially increase the second we go to war. Which means we have to go to war now. I can't yet, because I need to get some planes moving. Uh, if I attack now, they'll have the major advantage in the air. So, next turn, I'm going to have to move a bunch of stuff around. I knew I was that they were on the cusp of that. That doesn't surprise me at all. Do you have Lancasters or Lions yet? 
I think these are all good Spitfires right there. Those might be the better ones, actually. They don't build a ton of those, surprisingly. 84 Matildas, only 8 Valentines. They got 9 King Georges hanging around. But no Lancasters and no Lions. No Lancasters, no Lions. Okay, that makes me feel good. What are we looking at here? They have 10 transports. They still have 92 subs somewhere. Only one 1939 destroyer, and I'm pretty sure those might have all been World War Ones with the escort carrier. Only two battleships. Uh, four paratrooper planes. Decent number of carriers. A P-39? What is that? And B-25s. I hate those things. One escort carrier. 13 World War Ones. They're running out of escort ships. That is happening. What is that? Was it P-29? 39? It's a fighter of some kind, apparently. Those things are awesome. Those are one of the coolest fighters. They have such a long range, and their numbers are great, and they can bombard. They're not the best fighters in the game. I'm pretty sure that that's always going to be the Mustang. Well, actually, no, the Yunker 488 is the best in the game. But no, not that. Not the Yunker. What am I thinking? Messerschmitt 242, is it? 262. That's the best fighter in the game. It doesn't have the best range, but its attack and defense are unbeatable. Its bombard is even worse than the other Messerschmitts but nothing is going to escape it unless you roll perfectly. I'm not a fan of the 110. It's got a good range, but its numbers suck. You have an attack of 6. 6? What is that? It only really... It functions best. It does have an 18 bombard, so it's not bad for close fighter support. It's best uh, used to draw enemy fighters out from their cities, but why waste something building that? Because I'm pretty sure if I look at... This is cheaper. This is cheaper and it's better. It just has a shorter range, so... Yeah, not ever been a fan of 262s. There was something I wanted to change somewhere. Some sort of production. Right. Okay, so we have Deutschland's building there. Deutschland and Anisenau. You're building Flak. I think that's the only place that's building Flak, too. You're still building Type 9s. I like that. I'm starting to think I might want to change it. Um, you're building 88s. If I were to tell you to build a carrier C3, where is that? 500, you make 45 a turn. So a little over 10 turns in general. Actually, how long does it take to build an 88? 320. Wow, they're that expensive? So this, this place is not ideal to do that on. I think I actually... Yeah, that's one turn of progress, right? I think so. So if I were to do it here, that'd probably be the most beneficial. And then I'm not building any more Nisenaus right now. But I am still building... I do, I do have a couple there. I'm still building Bismarcks. And once I get... Either London or Cardiff online, one of them will shift to that production. Uh, so that I can still have good naval power. But I want some carriers in here. I want at least one with the fleet that hits down here, which is still a little ways off. But I want one to join up with this fleet as soon as we're able. Uh, it's going to be nice to have some of this stuff closed off. But Russia getting T-34s. That puts them in a very dangerous spot. So, I'm not really going to be able to advance much farther down here. So ne next turn, here's what I'm thinking. We're, we're going to leave Kirkuk. That acts as an okay shield against them. They can't put any fighters or bombers here. Britain. I'd rather Russia put fighters and bombers there than Britain, actually. No, I don't know. We'll still try to take it, maybe. Russia can only send tanks over this spot this spot, and all the way down here, in here. And there's no roads over most of that. So, theoretically, I could also just bomb out that road there, and these roads here, and really slow them down. Although they can't get around this stuff conveniently anyway. I don't know. I mean, I have to send all new tanks down here, I think. 
but I'm going to have to take a turn to redistribute my fight, my bombers, at least the 88s. The 87Bs, I'll, I'll move them where I can, but I really don't have a ton of them to move. And I need to get these workers off the front lines and into position to start laying down important roads. This stuff, ah, uh, two turns. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, there's probably not much I can do. Well, I still have to take a turn to actually move everything, so that one might work out. We'll see. If they can finish fast enough, we'll be completely solid, I think. I think I have enough tanks up here, between everything, to be okay. Um, <laughs> that stack should be fine, at least to hold its ground until I can get proper reinforcement. These guys will likely be gaining ground quickly. With this road set up, we can hastily jump forward and seize this, and maybe come in from behind and yoink these ones. Uh, travel through here is not convenient without this road, so this spot would be pretty easy to hold, all things considered, and then we can hit Stalingrad proper. Stalingrad is important, mostly because of its position. It controls a ton of space, and so we take that thing, it sort of cuts them all off, and then we just have to move down this chain. These are all heavily productive. These two are huge. You take these things, and you have gutted the Russian productive power. Not just because of them, but because of everything between them. And Moscow is not that far away, but it, it will take some work to get to. Our artillery are fortunately almost all here, and so we can hit Leningrad pretty quickly. I might need more tanks to actually take it, but we'll see. I'll need at least healthy tanks to do it. But I've at least got the Finns to still keep them busy up here. And the Japanese, hopefully, will keep them busy back here. I don't know. Having to... C considering how this is going to go, like just thinking it through, Russia has just gotten a lot more dangerous. But the T-34s won't matter if I can take away their cities. Alright, let's uh, jump ahead to next turn. Uh, yeah. I'm still supplying South America with everything. They better have built a road there. If they're just moving their tanks onto that spot for no reason, I'm going to be upset. Okay, that's not their 1939, that's still just World War I destroyers. Serves you right. That must have been the only one. He's probably got smaller bombers and fighter-bomber hybrids on board that thing that need a closer range. Huh, France is putting together some actual resistance forces. If they really want to, I know they can outproduce Italy. They outnumber them. Italy's got like three cities now. And they probably lost a bunch of them in conflict with Britain, now that I think about it. France might have realized they have an opportunity to actually drive them off. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work. Oh, hi. It's definitely true that all the 87Bs aren't uh, staying here, but I'm going to leave enough to deal with that. Why does Italy always have the worst diplomacy sound? Man, they do make me a lot of money, though. I always forget that, that they're giving me 35 a turn. That's huge. They need those resources. Without it, they can't build tanks to sit around. that a tank? Or are they gutsy enough to attack a British or a French infantry with it? They were normal units. Okay, yeah. That one was probably an Italian motorized or Italian militia. If the French are smart now, they'll have some units kill those two that are on the hills there, because they're far more vulnerable. Ooh, I don't like that. Where's Russia going? Something has piqued their interest. Uh, 
Nassau Deutschland. Heavy Cruiser or Carrier C3 is 10 turns. That's a few more turns. Awesome. More 88s. 87Bs are handy. But I've got quite a few of them now, and the 88s are only going to get more useful as time goes on. See, 87Bs, once you get into Africa and deeper Asia, um, the space between cities becomes too great, and they become useless for city attacks and sieging and stuff. The only stuff they're then helpful for is usually counterattacking, and every now and then when you have cities near each other. But in those situations, usually, you actually get more value out of just attacking the city itself, because they're generally not that big a deal out there. The 88s can always hit them. I think the same thing happens down in South America. Probably not North America, though. I'm going to put an airport here. That's probably the smart thing to do. I know I was talking about going to war with Russia right away. I was like, if they get those tanks, we're going to war. I don't, that was sort of a provision, but I really was sort of hoping that it would take them longer than that. But the turn we made peace, they must have gotten that technology. Like, it had to have been that recent, because they only just built them. And they've only just started building them. Now, if they can build those, because they have their rapidly expanded production, right? Because they're computers, so they cheat. If they can only build those things at half the rate of their current tanks, and that's being optimistic on my part, I'll admit, but if that's the fastest they can do it, probably be one every two turns out of their productive cities. That would slow them down to the point of probably not being able to keep up with demand if they're sending them at me. And the real value of attacking them early, before they have really any of them built up, is they then cannot stack attack with them all. Normally what the computer will do, not out of any strategy, but just because it's how they function, is they'll, they'll send everything at you all at once. Just their entire mass of tanks. Russia's super famous for this because there are just so many of them and they have no regard for their own units, so they'll chuck them all at you at once. And really hit you quite hard. If you let them build up a big force of T-34s and KV-1s, those stacks will be of T-34s and KV-1s. We saw that in my game as Britain. I actually lost some ground here and there to those things, if I remember right. Like, they were not to be trifled with. They did a lot of damage. They blew up a lot of stuff. But if I can get them early, they'll only send out a couple. And I can destroy those couple. And then as they send them out, one and two at a time, they're not that big a threat. All I have to do is properly stack cities so that they can't take them. Why is that here? What, what is that fortified there for? Well, it's probably because they're expecting an attack, and they're getting ready for it. That's, a, that's the logical conclusion to draw. Did they build 1,700 more of them? Four more. Any KV-1s yet? No, not yet. DB-38. Is that what I... Th no. I can't remember what those... Horrific... Oh, that's just a... Awful bomber. I can't remember what those horrific Russian planes were. I faced them down as Britain. And they were actually a handful. They were like... Striped or spotted. And their bombing animation was a strafing attack. I, I looked them up when I was Britain. But I fought Russia way late into that game, because it takes forever to get yourself off the ground as Britain. And, uh, those things were annoying. They could do some real damage. I don't know, I have to think Japan is slowly moving on Saigon, but knowing how the computer works, they could just send out one guy and hit you, or Britain could have some stuff in the water, bombard and run away. And if you, they get damaged even one hit point, they'll, everything will flee. They'll probably never take it. Not without overwhelming numbers. And knowing that they're fighting with China, I don't know if Japan will ever make it that far. It'd be cool, though. 
Okay, well, I, I don't think anything else has changed hands. I don't think anything else will change hands. Uh, even if it does, I'm not going to worry about it now. Okay, so I have a couple announcements to make, though. So first, this might be the last video of this uh, World War II Civ I post for a while. I'm getting a little burnt out by it. Not because it's not fun, but because it gets pretty samey. And uh, after doing it for so long on the channel, you just... But especially with all the other stuff that goes on in life. It, it takes up a lot of time. But sometimes I want to do other stuff. So this isn't me saying I'm done with this series. If you haven't noticed, I've been talking about strategy and stuff. I'm still going to go forward with it. Um, I'll probably do it here and there. And eventually, uh, I will revisit it, make it the full-time thing, and, and continue with the whole thing until we're done with it. But I'm going to take a bit of a break of, from it for now and focus on doing some other stuff that I want to do. Because I want to do it. And it probably be more... Well, it's going to be more fun for me. So this might be the last one of this uh, that I make for a little while. But I want to be clear. My full intention is to return to this specific game and continue with world domination. Assuming events in the real world don't lead to utter and complete, you know, world-ending destruction. I guess we'll see how it all plays out. But yeah, I'm going to get all that I'm going to do it later. I'm not just done with the series, but this might be the last one for a little while. Uh, so I do want to make that clear. For those who have stuck with me, especially through, like, here and just the, with all those terrible sound issues and stuff, um, I do appreciate that, and I am sorry I didn't catch that earlier. It's a lot of work to monitor that sort of stuff in videos, especially for someone who's just not that good at it and doesn't have experience with it, which is me. And I just don't catch some of that stuff. And on top of that, sometimes when I edit the thing, it sounds normal, and then when I actually go in to, to post it, then it sounds different. I don't know. Editing itself is a process that still continues to baffle me most of the time. But either way, yeah, this might be the last one you guys see for a while, but don't give up hope if you're enjoying it. It will be back. It'll always be back. I never get enough World War II. But that's going to be it for this one. So... If you haven't yet, please check the link in the description for my book. If you like the look of it, give it a read. And if you like the read, give it a positive review. Otherwise, that is going to be it for this one. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.